that you're destroying understand that but i love god i love god all right cool read isaiah chapter 34 verse 16 read. seek ye out of the book of the lord and read wait 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 what does god recommend the blacks and hispanics to do seek ye out of the book of the lord and read oh reading oh god black man hates reading right hell no what you mean read nigga read Nah, man. Nah, I want to read. Yo. Flyers? Oh, they got pictures? Okay, I, 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 I might look at the picture. I ain't reading. I ain't reading what you talking about. Guess what? And then you come up to us talking about how God loves everybody. Wait, wait, wait. The flyer just gave you scriptures on the fact that God came for your people. Right. right. We're up here giving you scripture on top of scripture that you are above all people on the face of the planet. And God loves you over all people. But what do you do? Oh, no. That means I got to read. And if I read, that means I gotta change. Nah, man, nah, nah, I can't do all that. Hell no, I'm not changing. I gotta stop selling drugs. Wow. I gotta get married now because I, oh, no, 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 I can't do that. Bring it out. Read the Bible again, man. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. And read, 33 and six, same book, 33 and six. We gotta go through these scriptures because y'all don't, don't want to actually understand what will stabilize our times but guess what we're gonna do we're gonna read it to you anyway right because israel united in christ gives you the solutions yeah. out of the bible that's right out of the bible that your churches do not oh, read isaiah chapter 33 verse 6 uh -huh. and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time wisdom is the keeping of god's commandments knowledge again god's laws they will be the stability of your times. God says, have no other gods before me. Guess what y'all do? Oh, I'm going to go to Islam. I'm going to go to Hinduism. I'm going to go to Catholic. I'm going to go to Christianity. I'm going to go to uh, Seventh-day Adventist. I'm going to be a Mormon. I want to be everything else but what this Bible talks about. Right. I can't. No, nah, I don't want to do that. Right. I don't want to do that. Nah. What the Bible say again? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Set, what is going to make you stable is God's commandments. Right. I'm looking at the most unstable community on the face of the planet. Right. You know. That's who you are. Lined up. Breathe. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Strength of salvation. Because what's gonna what's gonna what's gonna come with salvation? Strength. In other words, death. Wisdom of Solomon 18:7. Read that. What comes with your salvation? Because what you're doing right now, you're in lead. You're literally holding back your chance at being free. Right. Celebrating July 4th. Celebrating stupidity. Blasting garbage music nobody wants to hear. Right. Read the Bible. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18 verse 7. So thy people was accepted by the salvation of the righteous. So guess what? Of God's people must be accepted what? The salvation of the righteous. The salvation. Salvation of the righteous. Who those who keep God's commandments? That's who's going to be stable and receive the salvation. Read on. And destruction of the enemy. Read, read it again. So thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous uh -huh. and destruction of the enemies. And destruction of the enemies. Both must be accepted right. in order for the so-called blacks and Hispanics to get the kingdom. That's right. right. Both must be accepted. Our salvation and the destruction of our enemies. That's a law. God says you must accept that in order for you to qualify for salvation. Right. But you can't be sitting there and give me Proverbs 331. You can't sit there and celebrate and participate in all kinds of customs of this world. The customs that you were given in slavery and colonization. Right. Read. Proverbs.
Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. So when you're celebrating July 4th, what are you going to do? Read. Envy thou not the oppressor. Oh, wait a minute. Read, read that again. Envy thou not the oppressor. Because who became independent? You? You who, you who were three-fifths of a man? You were independent? No. So what are you barbecuing for on July 4th? What are you pulling out drinks for on July 4th? Bring it out. What are you doing? Read. Envy thou not the oppressor. And that's how you know the Bible is talking to and oppressed people. Right. The white man is not oppressed. Right. So guess what? The Bible's not talking to him. Right. The Chinese man is not oppressed right. as a whole. So guess what? The Bible's not talking to him. Right. So what must the oppressed do? Read. Envy thou not the oppressor uh -huh. and choose none of his ways. And choose none of his ways. July 4th is his way. All of these holidays that y'all celebrate, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is the conquest of your Native American brothers and sisters. Again, what are you celebrating? Foolishness. Read. Juneteenth. Well, praises. Juneteenth. Y'all think that y'all were made free. You think you were emancipated. Oh, two years later, yeah. yeah. Abraham Lincoln gave us Emancipation Proclamation and down in Texas we became free. Oh, really? Really? Give me um, Nehemiah 927. Nehemiah 927. I want to see how free our people are. We're celebrating Juneteenth. We're celebrating. Guess what? Guess who gave you that, highlight, that holiday? The white man! Right, right. Jim Crow Joe. Right. Gotta love it. Again, celebrating white man foolishness. Read. Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 27. Uh -huh. Therefore thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies. So once again, there you go. God is saying, God is saying, if this is the prophecy saying that we've been delivered into the hand of our enemies. Read on. Who vexed them? Read. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, uh -huh. thou heardest them from heaven. And according to the manifold mercies, uh -huh. thou gavest them saviors. That gave us them who? Saviors! Saviors are here. Right. Saviors are coming and saviors will get you out of this. That's but it. guess what? You on the other side of these signs can become those saviors. Right. right. That's why we read earlier that the kingdom of God is within you. Is it 26? Yep, 26. Verse 26. Verse 26. Uh-huh. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee. Uh, as usual, our people, all throughout the Bible you read, that's how we know that the blacks and Hispanics are the children of Israel. Right. Because you're rebellious, and you can't stand law. You hate order. Right. So you take the white, so you settle for the white man being on top of you. Right. Read. And cast thy law behind their backs. We cast the law, God's law behind our backs. Read. And slew thy prophets which testified against them. And everywhere we go, guess what's going to happen? And we're waiting on it. You will go and slay the prophets of God who came out to try and get you out of the conditions you're in. Right? You even slayed Malcolm X, and Malcolm X didn't even do anything to you, but tried to love you as much as he could. Right. And try to free your mindset. And who killed them? Black people did. Right. right. Niggas did. Right. Stupid as hell. Right. Free. And cast thy law behind their backs. Free. And slew thy prophets, which testified against them to turn them to thee. Uh huh. And they wrought great provocations. And they wrought great provocations. I wanted the body. Is it 36? 36. Read that. Verse 36. Read. Behold, we are servants this day. We are servants. What? Well, when? We are servants this day. People want to talk about, oh, the Bible's outdated, the Bible's long gone, biblical days. What, what, we are servants what? We are servants this day. This very day. I'm walking around, I'm looking at our people serving the white man in one of all things. Bring it out. In one of food, you're serving the white man. Right. You don't go to, you go shop, right? You go to Costco's, you go to all these places to get your food. Who owns these places? Not your people. Yeah. Understand that. That's right. Read on. And for the land that thou gavest unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof uh -huh. and the good thereof. We 
were supposed to be in our own land. Let me ask you something, black man. Is this your land? Bring it up. You so-called Hispanics, is this your land? You were given this land and it was stolen from you right. because you would not keep God's commandments right. and you continue refusing to do so. Read on. Behold, we are servants in it and it yielded much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us. So guess what? Guess who gets to reap those benefits? Guess who, re guess who reaps the fruit that our people, the so-called Mexicans, go down and pick? for little to little cents on a dollar. Guess who reaps those benefits? It ain't us. I'll tell you that right now. You go to the white man's stores, you see the freshest fruit. Oh, this and that, but guess what? Who picked them? Our people did. Bring it out. We served them in one of all things. But y'all still gonna celebrate this stupid July 4th. Read the Bible, man. And it yielded much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us because of our sins. And you shall have a land, but you will not prosper and you will not benefit from it. Read on. Also, they have dominion over our body. Wait a minute, what did God say? Also, they have dominion over our body. Dominion, dominion. Guess what, our people don't know anything about that. You so-called blacks and Hispanics do not know anything about the word dominion. Right, right. Because guess what? You don't even realize your ancestors were the ones who dominated this planet at a time. Right. You don't think about that. But guess what you've been taught? You've been taught Martin Luther King. You've been taught all kinds of other foolishness that just does not get you in the mind state that you're supposed to be in. And that's keeping the laws of God. That's right. Being the gods that you are. Right. Read the Bible again. What does it say? They should have what over us? Also, they have dominion over our body. So not even your own body do you have dominion over. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.